Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to my channel. I'm John the Video Guy and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a random number generator inside Adobe After Effects. So I'm going to go over a few things on how to stylize it, how to create the expression to make random values. This is going to be great for raffle prizes if you have to generate random numbers, you know, want to you know, add some excitement to it on like who's going to win. This is going to be great for you guys. So let's dive on in. So I'm inside Adobe After Effects here and the first part is we're going to create a new composition. So go up to Composition, New Composition and we'll name this Number Generator. And then under the settings I'm going to keep the width at 1920 by 1080. Frame rate I'm going to leave at 29 frames a second. Duration 10 seconds is good for this but if you want it longer feel free to adjust it. Then click OK. First, I'm going to create the background. So what I'm going to do first is go to Layer, New, Solid. And I'm going to name this background. Click OK or hit Return. And a cool effect to make a cool color animation is if you search for four color gradient in the effects under Generate, click and drag this to the solid. This will add four points of color that you can adjust. In this example, I'm going to change the values to a few different blue values. But if you have a certain theme or style, feel free to change this to customize it for your own you know, personal colors, however you wish to use this for your personal project. All right, so we got four different colors going on. Next, let's animate this. So I'm going to hit S on my keyboard to bring up scale on the layer. I'm going to scale this up to about 250. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit here and click back on the four-way color gradient and bring in these points. That way we see them a little bit more in our window. Now I'm going to go back to fit. Now let's rotate this. So if we bring up rotation, what I'm going to do is option click on the rotation, stopwatch, and type in time times 200. And if you click off and click play, you'll notice that we have a nice fun color effect kind of swirling in the background. Next, let's create the background that the number is going to be in. So I'm going to click on my shape layer, click and drag, and hold down shift to make a perfect square, let go. Go to your align panel. You can center this to the composition there. And what I can do, what I'm going to do is type in ramp. I'm going to add a gradient ramp to this. And I'm going to change these to other blue colors as well. I'm going to copy and paste the hex code. And for the bottom, I'm going to paste it and make it a little bit darker. So now we got something that looks like that. That's a little too dark. I'm going to make it a little lighter and maybe make this a little bit lighter here. The last effect I'm going to add to this is a drop shadow. So I'm going to search for drop shadow, click and drag that. And I'm going to change opacity to about 40%, change the softness to about 100. That way we have some nice separation from the background here. Okay, so next let's create the number. So I'm going to go to my text tool, click and anywhere in the composition and I recommend if you know your range type in the highest number so for example if you're making a random generator from 0 to 100 type in 100 and then you can position it that way you know 100 fits inside your box here so I typed in 100 what I'm going to do is go to my align panel and center this this looks good. I use the font Righteous. I'll link it down in the video description if you want to use that font. What I'm going to do is add a fill effect. And this is a nice effect if you just want to make a layer a certain color. You can just change the text color in the text panel. But I wanted to show you guys this effect too is also an option. Not only just for text effects but for really any layer. And then next I'm going to add a glow effect. So I'm going to type in glow under stylize glow, drag and drop that to the number. I'm going to change the radius to about 30. Now we got a nice glow happening with our text. All right, guys, so now is the fun part. Now I'm going to show you guys how to use this expression, the random expression, to generate the randomness of the value. So where to go here is you'll want to untwirl 100 and untwirl text. 
and then option click on the source text. And the expression to use is called random, so R-A-N-D-O-M, then open parentheses, and then you'll type in the range. So if you know your range, say if your raffle range is from zero to 100, you'll wanna type in zero comma 100. And then if you click off, you'll notice that you have uh, a really large number actually because it's displaying all the decimal points. So we'll want to round this off. So if you click back into your expression here, what we'll do is assign this random value as a variable. So we'll do x space equals space the random value and then go to the end, hit return, and then the rounding expression is called math. So math and then period round and then open parentheses X and then click off. And this will round that random value to uh, be a perfect decimal or actually have no decimals. So now we have a randomized number generator inside After Effects. Okay, so next, say if you want this to stop, you know, at a certain point, maybe at five seconds, it stops to the winning number. You can easily do that by just clicking on the text layer, hold down Shift Command D, and this will duplicate and split the layer in half. And then under the top layer here, what you can do is untwirl, go to source text, basically click back in here and delete everything. And then you can just change this to your winning number. So say if 76 is your winning number, you can change that there. And if you play this back, it just stops at 76. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you make a randomized number generator inside Adobe After Effects. I hope this has helped you show you a few things, how to stylize some things and how to use these expressions. Now, I did go over a few different expressions in here. If you are curious on my favorite expression I use all the time, I'll link that video up here. I went over how to use that. So feel free to go check that out. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.